this is our tiny home, Half Pint, located at a Coney Bell in Western North Carolina. I am an artist. I'm an entrepreneur. I moved to North Carolina in 2018, so I lived in Hawaii before that, um, which is actually where we met. And then I moved here in 2019 to be with Ashley. I like to draw, play video games, guitar, and I'm a drummer. Basically, she's like the coolest person ever. Like, <laughs> like she's just like no. super cool. <laughs> and super cute. <laughs> I know everyone in the neighborhood is always like, God, you guys are so cute. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> they're just walking down. They're like, like you're, you're, you're so adorable. Yeah. We're like, okay. Why are you yes. so smiley? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty cute. <laughs> we're the same size. We wear the same. We wear we can the share same. clothes. That works out in tiny really well because we don't need like two entire different wardrobes. Like, yeah, we share we a lot of same clothes. And shoes. And shoes. So, it works out. Our home is 8 by 16. It's built by Incredible Tiny Homes. It is 128 square feet. And I like that it is turned a little, so it has like really cute like curb appeal because it's not facing where everyone else's house is facing. <laughs> yeah. So when we got this house, it was just all raw pine and we had to wait a few months to get like the monies and, and means to paint the outside. But once we did, we went with the color yellow. It's just very bright and sunny, which I think is perfect for us. Well, we'd love to show you the inside, so come on with us and let's go inside. Hey, welcome to our home. So this tiny home is 128 square feet. So when we moved into the house, it did not look like this. It was very bare bones. Um, but when I say bare bones, it did have the, all the appliances. It was all unfinished wood. When we came in, we had to get to painting. And then from there, it was just whenever we had monies to do other little DIYs, that's what we did. So behind me is the kitchen. And I'm very proud of my kitchen because I am Chef Ashley and I cook a bunch of vegan meals and share them with people every week. So I do pretty much all the cooking in the household. And so when we first moved in, I was like, wow, we, uh, we don't have a lot of counter space. So what we did is we added this little cabinet here and this gave us a lot of extra like food storage and countertop space um, because really when when I'm cooking there this is this is what you get <laughs> this right here um, and then like my dish rack is usually here so it was really nice that we added the cabinet we added the three tier spice rack because I can't be giving people basic food. I just can't, my ancestors wouldn't allow it. So we've got those. Um, I have all my kitchen utensils. I have a two burner electric stove top. It's nice that it's oriented this way rather than like vertically, cause then I feel like that would be hard to cook in. We got the microwave, it came with the house, has a range hood. I'm really glad we have this cause I've noticed that some tiny houses don't have that. And when you're in a tiny space cooking, you're gonna smell all the food <laughs> for like hours. Um, so it's really nice that I can turn that on. I can get some of the smells out as, I, as I'm cooking. So we've got this cabinet down here, which when we moved in, it was the only storage that we had for food and cookware. So since then we have expanded and we got this really great pantry. It's actually just a utility closet we got it at target and it functions really well in this space as our pantry it's got tons of storage we added like additional shelving parts in here little organizers for now i'm just very thankful we have more storage for our food so we've got a butcher block countertop and one thing that I love about this is that it's got this little cover that's also could be used as a cutting board and you can cover it up over the sink. So the kitchen sink's under here. I love this feature. This drawer 
is for my cookware, measuring cups, mixing bowls. Thank goodness for this drawer because it holds a lot of the bulky stuff. We use under the kitchen sink for cleaning supplies. Our recycling bin lives under there as well. What is crazy to me is that with how much cooking I do, I actually only have a mini fridge, which is crazy because I prioritize the things that go into the refrigerator and I also Tetris them. So I do all my grocery shopping at the beginning of the week and then I like prep my vegetables and Tetris my fridge and it's it's pretty amazing. Somehow it all comes together. Another thing that saves me is uh, this is a all-in-one pressure cooker. Actually my neighbor uh, introduced it to me. It like bakes and air fries and roasts and steams. It's really, really cool. So I like that. These shelves are open shelves. Again, in my favorite color, if you can't tell. Also our dishware, favorite color. So as you can see, these shelves are actually pretty high up. And so I, we have a little stepping stool <laughs> that just sits right next to our mini fridge and it pops out. And now I can reach everything. <laughs> I realized we need space for all these little doodads that we have that kind of get cluttered around when you first walk in and you want to put your stuff down. So right next to the mini fridge, I actually put up a little pegboard system and it holds like my lint roller. I've got a pair of uh, sunglasses that hang there, um, an umbrella. And over here, this is our entryway. Again, having to put all your things down when you walk in just so that you don't just throw them on the ground. Uh, we got this really great shelf and hook system, put our jackets, we can put our purses up. Uh, we got an additional hook because you can't have too many hooks in a tiny house. I don't think it's possible. And more hooks actually on the bathroom door, which I will show you in a minute. Um, our bathroom door, it's my favorite color. And these hooks are little chairs. <laughs> They're from Ikea. <laughs> I think I first became aware of tiny homes when I was in college. I think I had just been more interested in having more of a down to earth lifestyle. I always knew from pretty young that like, I. I didn't really care about having like the mm -hmm. typical mm -hmm. lifestyle of like you have a really nice car and you have a really big house and like you have all these kids and, like well no I don't want kids <laughs> don't yeah. ever think I want kids um, and I don't need all of this space and I don't need to mm -hmm. be working a job that I don't really like just so I can like pay for a mortgage and so I saw tiny homes as my best option for having a house sooner rather than later and also I just like really like tiny things like like <laughs> miniature things I at one point I had I had a business in in college where I was like like making miniature desserts out of out of clay when I first saw tiny houses I was like that's freaking adorable I want one it would be the perfect size for me like mm -hmm. I'm tiny I could live in a tiny home and I think you know through our friendship mm -hmm. we were friends for five years before we got together we like came together in a romantic relationship mm -hmm. you brought up tiny homes I was like oh my god are we doing this because like this has like been a dream of mine for years like and I just didn't know when it would happen I didn't know how right. it would happen I knew that I was like yes I want a tiny home and the mountain of North Carolina and yeah. it's gonna be wonderful and it's gonna be beautiful <laughs> yeah for us the timing was so perfect because Oconee Bell had just opened phase two like they had so many lots to choose from and I was like now's the time like yeah. it's it's wide open so yeah it just everything kind of fell into place yeah. for us which was really great yeah thanks to our sponsor Michelin
Do your wiper blades suck? Join Michelin in celebrating International Check Your Wipers Day on November 16th. Michelin created this day to remind drivers of the importance of checking their windshield wipers on a regular basis for optimum visibility and safety on the road. So join International Check Your Wipers Day to keep driving clear and fun. Check out Michelin Wiper Blades site for more info on how to check your blades and to easily find a pair that fits your car or rig. So through here is our bathroom. And it's quite small, but we have everything that we need in here. So we actually added this half moon sink. Didn't come with the base model of the home, but we figured it's kind of necessary to have a sink in the bathroom um, without having to like brush your teeth in the kitchen. So we added this. It doesn't have any sort of cabinet under it. So we just got like little storage bins just for like makeup and hair accessories. We also added additional storage by getting this cabinet, so we didn't have a mirror. <laughs> and so this has been really awesome for storage up here um, and storage inside. We've also got the water heater in here. It's a tankless water heater. Under it, we've got a cabinet that kind of hides the, hides the pipes that go with it. And we've also got a shower on this side. It's a 32 by 32. So in the back of the house, um, we have the living room and we opted for the front door to be at the tail end of the kitchen. And the reason for that is because we wanted to have all these as usable walls because once you put a door here, it's kind of like stuck as the entryway. We wanted this picture window because it obviously it lets in a lot of light, but it makes the space feel a little bigger. We don't feel as trapped. We, we were really glad we could do that. So here is our like TV console. I game, so I have a PS4 that actually gets tucked in this nook here and I have an Xbox One and I swap them whenever I'm switching games. And this console is actually a bench from Aldi's. And we looked at it and we saw the dimensions on it and we were like, that's what we need in our living room. It's got cabinets here, which um, I make jewelry, so I have a ton of craft supplies. So they tuck away nicely in there. And underneath, there's enough space that we can hide some of our shoes. So that's really nice. Those were all the things that we really wanted in a TV console, which is kind of like a, a, a catch off for a lot of things. Yeah. We got this craft cart because our laptops were like thrown around in the living room. We we're like, okay, we really need a place to put these Ashley crafts. So that really helps her because she can keep all her supplies organized. And living in a small tiny, we do um, need a dehumidifier. So we found, especially in the summer, fall months, um, it gets really humid in here and we need to turn that thing on every night that stores away really nicely. Over here we have our ottoman that also doubles as a storage ottoman. It has our winter clothes and some extra backpacks. Winter clothes are really bulky, so we don't wanna hang those up or otherwise you have to store them in the car or something. So once we finally got this, really helped keeping it all contained. We have this awesome couch. It's from Joybird. It's super comfy. It, we like that it has uh, deep seats. I, I was really big on the deep seats because being in other tiny homes, a lot of them, you know, for saving space, they're like those skinnier bench seats. But I was like, nah, I want to like chill and game. And when we had it delivered, I was kind of in a panic because it would not fit through the door unless you took the uh, feet off and the door off and yeah you have to so the with door taking off. the door off and the feet it fit it fit we like having these like little like trinkets and we like tiny things so little decorations and i was like i really want to do something with this corner and then we went to target and i just came across this like set of shelves and it came with four pieces actually so these two are the same size and then it has two of these small ones and I actually put the other small one underneath in the closet that actually holds our internet router um, which is really nice because that was also kind of a mess just like kind of floating around in the living room and then up here we have our storage loft that 
we tried to keep as organized and looking great as possible. So we got those gray bins that we try to keep looking uniform. Um, and then Ashley has some craft supplies up there. At Coney Bell, I offer vegan meals to my neighbors. So I cook vegan meals once a week and then I deliver them. It's kind of like doing a meal prep, but for lots of people. Cause I just bust out all my cooking on one day and then I pack them in reusable containers and I deliver them and then Everyone's really good about like, they wash them and then they return, they just like drop it off at our doorstep and then. I can kind of be a, a hermit, but providing meals for people means that like, you know, I'm interacting, I'm getting to meet my neighbors, I'm getting to know them, like I see them once a week, like I can, you know, kind of just build relationships from there. Us being a gay couple, you know, I never ever felt yeah. any sort of like discrimination mm -hmm. or, or anything like that. Like people have just been like very welcoming. There are quite a few people in the neighborhood in the LGBTQ community. So like that's been super cool. Like there's vegans in the community, there's vegetarians, there's single people, there's couples, there's older people who, you know, maybe they're retired and kind of living on their own. And I also offer dog walking and like pet sitting services. Every time you walk outside the door, there's like a dog walking by and you're like, hi, and you can just like, <laughs> I can like get all like my cuddles in cause we don't have any pets. And like, we would love to have like a dog or a cat, but like, I think for right now, cause our house is so tiny. And since I do so much cooking, um, we're kind of like, okay, you know, when we, when we upgrade to our bigger tiny, we can get pets then. And on the other side of the living room, we have the stairs and a built-in closet. Um, so this is actually our dining table slash craft table. So when we're using this table, the feet are really great because they, they're just like these two sides. It just opens up as these two legs. So that's awesome so that we can put the ottoman in the middle and the legs kind of straddle that. So that makes it easy where we can eat dinner and have our feet up. Or also if Ashley's crafting and I can be tucked away in this corner and I can have my feet up while I'm gaming and she's crafting. So that's really cool. This is our closet. As you can see, it holds a lot of our other things, but I did install this clothing rod. When we first got it, this was just an empty box. So this allows us to hang clothes. This is where I mentioned that our router is located. So I put up this little tiny shelf. There's a hook there and some more um, tension rods that hold like extra linens and stuff, which is really nice because all of this is hollow. So we're trying to make use of the space underneath. So these stairs here, the reason why there's this, this actually fits kind of like a key and this whole three steps actually slide out. And the idea of this was so that we could, since we're short, we could access our storage loft by moving these stairs. When we realized we wanted carpet, this kind of became obsolete to take out. But if we ever wanted to in the future, we could always do that. We asked the builder to kind of squish the steps and make it a little steeper. So they're not crazy taller than normal steps, but they do, you do have to be careful because I had to get used to, I kept hitting my shins on the steps. These are really great. We added these grips because Obviously there's smaller steps um, coming down from the loft. It is a little dangerous and we don't have any railings. So we put these little grips on the stairs. All right, so up here we have um, this rug because we notice when you're climbing into the loft, it's kind of uncomfortable getting on um, hard wood on your knees. So that was like one of the first things we like put down this rug. And then this is from Ikea. This is what we use for our laundry. So this small little hamper. Um, we also have this tiny little trash can that's great for up here in the loft. At the foot of the bed, there's additional storage for like linens and um, towels and whatnot. Um, behind me over here, these are Ikea cabinets that are 
really great, super useful. These are drawers that you just push and they pop open. Um, and then these are little cubbies that we use for, you know, sweaters and pants and whatnot, the bulkier things. We have a full-sized mattress. It fits really well. Like we could fit a queen up here, but we wanted the additional space. So like if we had a queen, I think it would take away from the amount of room you have when you're climbing in. Total, I think this loft is about like 49 square feet. Um, which it actually feels really comfortable. So as you can see, this is angled and we only have the one dormer, but with our heads on this side, it, it doesn't feel super closed in. So it's super comfy, but yeah, overall, like we, we really like this as our bedroom. So the, the house model with Incredible Tiny Homes, it's their RJO, which I don't think they make anymore. So at the time, they were doing the special where you get uh, eight by 16 for 25,000. And that's why we were like, heck yeah. Like that's just, that's like a brand new car. And that was including um, like the mini all the fridge, appliances, mm -hmm. the stove, like Finish the bathroom. Bathroom. Yeah. So we were like, heck yeah, that's a great deal. And then we ended up doing some upgrades. Like we had the floor installed, the storage loft, the picture window did not come included. So with all the upgrades and stuff, it came out to like 30,000. So as far as the loan, my, my dad got some sort of like just private loan, like personal loan, and then worked it out with me where I'll just pay him back. I mean, he's making the payments. That really yeah. helped. Cause at the time, like I didn't have, like I said, lost my job um so i couldn't prove any sort of income like i know i'm going to be able to pay this but the bank won't believe me <laughs> i'm super grateful that norma jean's parents have been able to to help us and um thanks mom and dad yes <laughs> i fully acknowledge like i am very lucky that you know they were able to do that for us so yeah yeah and also That's being young like we're both in our 20s yeah. and we feel very fortunate to like have our own house. Like it's like our own space. Like we don't have to shuffle around from apartment to apartment and deal with landlords. And we don't have any shared walls. We have our own yeah. yard. We can yeah. do whatever we want to the house. <laughs> it's nice being surrounded by different tiny homes, different builders from all over the United States. We've been in a bunch and I think we've settled on rough cut tiny homes, which I think they're based out of South Carolina. They have some really great models. We want to go to like a 400 square foot. We want to max out on our tiny. Yeah. <laughs> and now that we've like, I think we've, we can actually say we've like mastered the 126 square feet. 128, I really oh, 128. think we have mastered because like, you know, this was our, our first home together. Mm -hmm. Like this is our mm -hmm. first home. And I think it's been a great like starter home because we had never lived in a tiny house before and you kind of just like get an idea of like what you want, how the space works for you, things right. that you feel like you're like, oh, it would be really nice to have this. So yeah, yeah, especially in such a small space, like we know like, okay, prioritize closet space, mm -hmm. prioritize kitchen space, mm -hmm. like, and living room, you know, we want, we definitely want like a lounge space. So like, it really helps that we started here and then now we can go custom. We're so lucky. Yeah. Like, we're just like so happy um, to be able to live here and 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 you know just like live our best lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching our video and for stopping by Tiny House Expedition. I'm Alexis and I'm Christian don't forget to like comment and subscribe and for more tiny home tours and stories click the videos below and join us on Instagram for bonus content including face-to-face -face conversations with us <laughs> <laughs> we hope to see you there all right thanks guys have a good one